okay, this video, video is for Curious Knowledge 670. You want to shoot the ball with more accuracy. I want you to start thinking about um, effortless play. Effortless play is the key to rapid development and effortless joy, right? Effortless play, effortless joy. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about, uh, uh, you got to watch the video. It's called How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich. It's a TED Talk. That's V-R-A-N-I-C-H. This is something that I wished someone would have told me to check out 20 years ago, right? I, you, you must, if you've never been taught how to formally breathe, this is going to help build a foundation where even if you're in high pressure situations in the game or uh, in high stress situations in life, this is going to help keep you calm, keep you focused, and it's going it, to, you'll see how it's going to connect to being able to um, shoot effectively. Um, so if you haven't done that already, stop this video and check out that video on YouTube, How to Breathe by Dr. Branich. That's step one. Step two, once you've done that, right, there's a couple different paths you could take. Um, one is, one is an SKLZ kick trainer, right? This is just a ball on a rope. Um, I like this SKLZ kick trainer because it's cheap, it's portable, uh, it's lightweight. 24 bucks on Amazon, it's hard to beat. Uh, you can make one yourself with a size size one ball, size two ball, and a length of rope, maybe some duct tape. And with one of these balls, the beauty of it is that you can start to get into a rhythm and develop your awareness and your timing and your breathing, right? And you could do it inside the house. Yeah. You don't have to wait for a training partner. You don't have to go to a wall right it's it comes it's portable right so it comes with you everywhere and for that reason um, I think it's one of the most underrated tools for uh, shooting development right because each touch is like a shot or a pass or, or trapping the ball right your first touch so it's it's so versatile because right if you put a shot on goal it doesn't matter how much power it is if it goes in it goes in so juggling and using this kick trainer um, those are the two things that are going to help you improve your your shooting because when you're juggling a ball, each touch of each juggle you take, you could argue is like a pass, and each juggle you take is like a shot. So being able to control the ball out of the air and orient yourself to where right you want to you want to be like a magician. The ball comes this way and you want to go that way, you could just go that way. If the ball comes this way and you want to go that way, or like the ball comes in and you want to go behind, you just pop it, you know, you just pop it over your head and you go that way. The, all the best players in the world are the best jug. I mean, I'm sorry, not all the best jugglers are the best players, but all the best players are the best jugglers. So that means, right, what does that mean? After your warm up, let's say you have a daily warm up, you should be spending a majority of your time compared to uh, passing or shooting. It's dribbling and juggling are the two things you want to focus the majority of your time on. And I would even argue that juggling improves dribbling, but dribbling doesn't improve juggling. So that means if you can only choose between dribbling and juggling, I'd choose juggling because it's the one thing that improves. Timing, rhythm, coordination, balance, awareness, even, you know, you could get into your breathing when you're juggling. Um, so if you're just a beginner and you want to really perfect your shot and really have a deeper awareness of where you're going to put the ball, juggling and using this kick trainer is so effortless, right? Um, I've been suggesting players to players that they bring, bring a tennis ball with you everywhere you go and just start sneaking touches. Doesn't matter if you're at school, doesn't matter if you're at work, doesn't matter if you're on vacation, if you're at a picnic, barbecue, everywhere, everywhere you are is a, is an opportunity to just start sneaking, sneaking touches in and getting, you know, ideally you want to have a training partner, but if there's no training partner around, then you could be getting, you know, you're just getting touches perpetually. It's not about practice. It's about playing perpetually. And right. I'm in my kitchen. That's two.
right? And as I'm juggling, you have to be aware of your surroundings, right? So I'm in my kitchen and I see my kitchen, but I'm focused on the juggling. But what's gonna happen is as you start to juggle more and more, your awareness for what's behind you improves because you can't, you can't not look at what's in front of you as you're juggling, right? Because your, your field of vision, this is where you're seeing, right? And as you juggle, you become aware of what's behind. So as your juggling improves, your awareness improves, your decisions get better because you have better awareness. So it's this virtuous cycle of as you work on your dribbling and juggling and using your kick trainer, um, these are the things that are gonna help you improve your shooting abilities, right? Because you can't even get in a position, you can't even get in a position to where you're gonna shoot or set your shot up if your dribbling is so poor, right? Like if you've got poor dribbling, you, you can't even put get yourself into a space to shoot the ball. So that that's why it's not just about, right? You could be the best juggler, but you could maybe not score a lot of goals because your your technical dribbling skills are poor, right? So it's, it's all about um, just getting better at every single, right? Each thing gets the other thing better. The better you become at it, dribbling the better becomes juggling right so it's it's about pursuing it's about playing right the more you play the more touches you take the more you're going to learn from your mistakes right you got to get all those mistakes out um so let me re reiterate one uh one more thing one more time every single moment that you're walking anywhere this is an opportunity for you to dribble a ball and anytime you're walking anywhere, that's an opportunity for you to use a kick trainer and juggle a ball, right? So you think who's gonna who's gonna um, who's gonna get better faster? The players only dribbling or taking a hundred touches a week, a hundred touches a day, or the player who's taken two hundred touches a, a day, two hundred touches a week, right? So by effortlessly increasing the volume of your dribbling, of your juggling, of your kick trainer, you're gonna be able to have more fun in the game and you'll just notice your shooting improve. So um, that's what you wanna invest in. Effortless play is the key to rapid development. So um, reach, out, reach out with any questions. Thanks for your time. All right.